Hello all, it's Friday, April 4th. I'm wearing a shirt that a toddler should be wearing. I have some news regarding why more people hate Facebook now than ever since the Oculus buy, a Microsoft scam man, and what the tech gadgets. <laughs> A man who ran a Microsoft computer scam tricking people into paying for free antivirus software has received a suspended four-month jail sentence. The man hired people at an Indian call center to falsely tell victims their computers had serious problems. The targets would be charged between 35 and 150 euros for software Microsoft made available for free. Happily, this is believed to be the first ever successful prosecution of someone involved in a Microsoft scam in the UK. I'm glad this happened, but a four month jail sentence? That doesn't seem like very much. These fines are barely enough to deter someone from doing something illegal to see if they could do it. I am excited that the buyout of the Oculus has sparked some discussion. As you know, thanks to Facebook, the following two things are likely to happen at some point in the near future. One, one billion more people will gain access to the internet thanks to drones and satellites hovering in the stratosphere. Check out my article on Parts People regarding Zuckerberg's latest attempts to deliver internet to the world. And soon, we'll be able to sit down with friends in foreign countries and immerse ourselves in experiences never previously thought possible simply by slipping on a pair of Oculus Rift glasses. Here's the deal. It looks like people are getting a little freaked out. Not because of these services, but because Facebook is the provider. Facebook! Do you blame them? People are less and less okay with Facebook running their lives. And I don't mean time spent on the site with your friends, I mean running your lives. Thanks to your Facebook login, you are able to use it with most everything else you do on the internet. Therefore, it's become your identity. You know, when you sign in to Pinterest, sign in using Facebook. I know it's easy, I do it too. Do you think we are learning yet? When will we learn? Will it die like MySpace? Wouldn't that be great? Will you not let your kids, if you don't have any, use Facebook in 10 years? You think your kids' kids won't be using Facebook? Now it's time for... <laughs> Hello universe, one of the smallest first world problems is about to get fixed, finally. Reversible USBs are coming. I mean, thank God it's always once, twice, damn it. The third time is always a charm with those things. Definitely a first priority. Rear view cameras are to be included in all new US cars by 2018. A long awaited rule aims to reduce deaths from backup accidents. So there, now you human beings have no excuse to back up over two year olds. That probably wasn't okay to say. What the heck is a justice cap? <laughs> well, thanks for asking. It's a baseball hat with a set of LEDs on it that boasts anti-camera technology that will white out your face when viewed through a surveillance camera. So basically, if you're in a low lit area ready to do something sketchy, the justice cap is here to save the day. Because blocking out your facial features with the brightest light ever created definitely doesn't draw attention to you. Next, because we had to move on, check out this futuristic body drawing machine that looks like a scale. No towel necessary here. Expect someday in the not too distant future to step out of the shower onto an apparatus that violently blows air up and around your entire body. Choose hot or cold depending on your mood. Also, forgot, this is not a hair dryer, but I would love to see someone try. Yoga, you know. Lastly, a new smart patch has been designed to detect symptoms of disease and even deliver drugs. At one millimeter thick, the comfortable hydrocolloid patch is worn on the wrist measuring around two inches and it's rectangular size. The silicon membranes convert the skin's natural motion to small electrical signals. In the nanoparticles is data, and the data is used to pick up and detect tremors in people. 
maybe even picking up on early sites of Parkinson's or epileptic seizures. Now I think that's amazing. Thank you so much for watching. If you would, and if you could, please press the thumbs up button to like this video and subscribe to get your weekly redheaded fix. I put up episodes every Friday. Bye bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm gonna walk down the stairs. Need anything? Need anything? I'm just gonna go down the stairs. <laughs>